Hi, this is Mario from Fortools.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you work with keywords in iMatch. The primary feature for working with keywords in iMatch is the keywords panel here on the right side. Um, for this demonstration, I switch the file window to the title, description and keywords layout so we can see the keywords assigned to each file directly below the thumbnail. The simplest way to add some keywords to a file is to select the file in the file window and then just start typing the keywords you want to add in the keywords panel. For example, when I now press Ctrl S or click on the green hook button, these keywords are assigned to the file. Since our layout displays keywords, we can see them immediately in the file window. Let's do another photo. In the recent tab below the keyword input field, iMatch automatically displays the recently used keywords. This means when I switch to another image, I just can apply these keywords by clicking in this list. In case you want to remove all keywords from a file, you can just use the delete all keywords from the drop down menu. To remove individual keywords, you control click the keyword you want to remove and then save your changes and the keyword is removed. When you select multiple files, the keyword panel indicates which keywords are assigned to all selected files, Lara in this case, and which keywords are assigned to only some of the files, in this case Funny and Studio. When you click one of these keywords, you assign them to all files in the current selection. Like always in iMatch, Multiple selections work as well as single files, which means you can add keywords or remove keywords from any number of files in one go, just like this. It's very easy to add or remove keywords, but also to replace a keyword. For example, if you detect a typo or you have to change um, a name in any number of files. You select the files in the file window, then control click the keyword you want to remove and then add the corrected keyword. Done. People often overlook that, but in case you make a mistake in iMatch, oops, you can always go to the edit menu and choose undo to get your keywords back. If you use a keyword very often, you can add it to the favorites list. Right click the keyword, add to favorites. It then shows up on this special list and you can later uh, assign it to any file just by clicking and saving. The top 50 list in the keyword panel displays the 50 most often used keywords with the font size indicating how often a keyword is used. The larger the keyword is displayed, the more often it is used. This allows you to quickly pick from frequently used keywords. If you are a quick typer, you can also type multiple keywords at once by separating them with a semicolon. Another neat feature of the keyword panel is the ability to edit keywords as text. Especially useful if you have um, images with many keywords assigned. By clicking on this button, you switch the keyword editor into text edit mode and then you can edit keywords as plain text, for example, removing a keyword like this, and then you press the button again and save the keywords to the file. Manually adding keywords, like we just did, only gets you so far. There's always the chance that you make typos or assign different keywords for the same thing. Using the same keyword for the same thing is very important because it allows you to find files via keywords later easily. And this is one of the main reasons to have keywords at all, to 
to find files using their keywords or to organize files using their keywords. To handle this, most users prefer to use something that is called a controlled vocabulary, which means a predefined set of keywords from which to choose while adding keywords to files. The universal tesseros in iMatch is the primary tool for creating and using uh, controlled vocabularies, not only for keywords, but also for other metadata tags. If you have watched the metadata video tutorials before, you already know a bit about the iMatch tesseros. When you install iMatch on your computer, iMatch automatically um, imports a set of predefined keywords into the uh, universal tesseros. These keywords work very well in most workflows, but of course you can edit them um, in the Tesseros Manager or import controlled vocabularies from other sources. See the link below in the description for a knowledge base article about controlled vocabularies. The keyword panel displays the Tesseros below this section. On a small screen like this, you usually have to scroll or you just maximize the keyword panel. The Tesseros is based on hierarchical keywords. This means that it organizes keywords on multiple levels. For example, to assign a keyword from the Tesseros, you just click the corresponding checkbox. In this case, I would like to assign the keyword baby to this photo. When you look at the top, you see that actually two keywords have been assigned. The keyword baby, which I have ticked in the Tesseros and the keyword infant. This is because the, the word infant has been configured as a synonym for the keyword baby. This means whenever I, I assign the keyword baby to a file, the keyword, uh, the synonym infant is also assigned. This allows me to assign um, any number of keywords by assigning one main or primary keyword. Very convenient. Let's assign another keyword, say gender. This is a boy and you see automatically it assigned the, key, the synonym male when I assign the keyword boy. When working with hierarchical keywords, multi-level keywords, you can control via the Tesseros which of the levels you assign to a file. You can assign just the bottom level or one or more of the intermediate levels or the complete hierarchical keyword. I give you an example. I choose motif and then portrait and then choose indoor. This assigns the hierarchical keyword portrait indoor to this file. As you can see, the motif, the top level uh, keyword is not added to the file, just the uh, second and third level. Instead of manually picking elements from the Tesseros, you can also use the built-in search function. Just start typing and iMatch makes suggestions from your Tesseros. You can pick from the list using the cursor keys and then pressing enter. You can use the built-in search function um, to search in your Tesseros. For example, I search for mountain and immediately I get all matching elements uh, from the Tesseros. This is especially useful if you work with large controlled vocabularies or taxonomies. Press escape to cancel the search and return to your previous state. Via the right click context menu in the keyword panel you have access to additional in Tesseros functionality. For example, you can use the locate in Tesseros command to find the corresponding entry. You can add um, a specific keyword to your thesaurus. You can also create new elements directly here without using the thesaurus manager. Building landscape portrait um, sports. Now you have created a new entry in your thesaurus and you can assign the keyword immediately. As always, Pressing F1 in the keyword panel opens the corresponding help topic in the iMatch help system. This explains all the features available in, uh, the, in the keyword panel, how to use the Tesseros, uh, and 
explains in great detail every available command. Often useful is the function to find files by keyword. I right click the keyword I want to search for and then use the find command from the context menu. This shows me all files in my database with the funny keyword. To find all files with the same combination of keywords, I use the find combination command instead. This shows me all files with the same keywords as the selected file. 